Hi guys, uh, welcome to Slime Rancher, and today I'm going to show you all how we open the Lost Slime Gate door, which uh, leads to the Lost Ruins. Now I'm going to go through my blue transporter right here, I'm going to turn here, give you guys a good look at that, because whenever you reach the impeccable level that I'm at, you get to make uh, gadgets like, like, a tra like a teleporter. And here we're just gonna go through this little area. I'm sorry about this frame rate, by the way. Um, it slime rancher already. It slows down my my computer a whole mess load, but uh, recording and you know recording the actual video. It's taking you never have too many chickens. Uh, recording the actual video with my device, it slowed it slowed the rate down uh, astronomically. So just bear with me until I figure out how to fix that. All right. Uh, anyway, now that I got some chickens. Let's do one over here. You have to have a slime key to open up that door, but I already did that, so here. And this is the, I'm just, I call it the meadow. And I'm just gonna get one of my chickens real quick, cause I'll, I'll need the itchy space. And I'll show you around real quick. <clears throat> this is the stone slime, stony slime uh, thing. You, you pop the port in there, and then that, that, that one over there is the rad slime. You pop the port in there, and it makes it shiny. You know, it starts to glow. That's the phosphor slime, and over there you can see past the phosphor slime, the, the shiny rocks. That one over there is the honey, uh, there's the pink. The, the pink one's already, it already fills in automatically to give you a hint. And this one is the boom slime. See, all the, the there's one missing, and that's the, the tabby slime, which is what I'm going to go and do right now. See, here we go, tabby slime, and yeah. Alright, see, now it's shining, and then so the, so the little face in the middle. Here, I'm going to go over here so you can get a pretty good view of it as it shines. And the music's nice. The music's nice. I'm, um, I know the audio doesn't really love it. It goes, oh. Yeah, kind of like that. You know, choir -y sounding. Um, uh, you're just going to have to play to find out what it sounds like. Because, uh, again, to record the, the, you know, actual audio here would just slow my, down my frame rate even more. It's very pretty to look at, though. I like it. And, the uh, so should you. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go over here, get a little closer so it actually opens. I'm trying to fly up here and get up to the light. Oh, no, nope. uh, jetpack's not strong enough. Let's just go the old fashioned way. It's stairs. And boom. There we go. Yay! Happy flying face. Happy flying. Sliding face. Like that. The door opens super slow because uh, it's old. <clears throat> and here we go. See? the They're not shining anymore. Get it? And here we go. Boop. Take a step over. Out to the Shire. The ancient ruins. You can read that for yourself. And see? And you have a whole plethora of stuff that's going on around here. And these are some chickens. A lot of just regular old chickens. You know, hen hens and chickadees uh, around here. You'll see why later um, if I show you. Maybe. Maybe press this button to open up the, the uh, gates here. I'm going to grind here and get this. I know what the uh, most of the ruins actually looks like. You know, I navigate away around it pretty well because I spent a lot of time here and a lot of time memorizing it. Well, not a whole mess of the time. I memorized things pretty quickly. Then I'll just back back out here. And these over here, this is a, um, a lemon tree. And uh, what are they called? Quantum lemons? Phase lemons. Phase lemons is what they call them. And here, I'm going to put something right here. These are gadgets also you can build, not just teleporters. You can build gadgets. I'm going to build a grill. It's an advanced grill. It lasts for three. So in-game, after 21 hours in-game, not out of game, not real hours, you can go back and collect stuff. These are fossil, These are no quantum slimes. These are tricky little buggers because they teleport. And so you can't keep them in normal corrals like you can like these pink slimes. They teleport out, which is super annoying. And here's another tree. And the, 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 the trees are difficult. I'll tell you about this later. Here, I'm going to put another something. I'm going to put a pump in here. And there's nothing, like, super special that you get here in the Lost Ones, except for the Echoes, which I'll show you in a minute, as soon as I find one. But uh, these things, they capture Echoes, and they spit them out. Spit. And the, the, the trees, the actual uh, phase lemon trees, they teleport, too. So they're not always in the same locations. And here, here, here's an Echo. Here's an Echo. Like, scoop. The echoes. They're a little moat of light, or perhaps a memory. So I like to, I like to, you know, you, you, you collect them, and then you can shoot, as soon as you shoot them out, they'll stay there. 
So uh, if you shoot them out anywhere, they they'll they'll just stay where, right where you shot them. So they're really helpful if you have a bad memory and you want to find your way through the ruins. You can shoot yourself a little trail. And I like to collect them because I like to uh, decorate my slime, you know, my, my headquarters with them, like the house and the ranch and everything. And <clears throat> excuse me. And here we're gonna just get, oh, there's another one. But here I'm gonna show you. That's that's gonna be the prime place to put the uh, teleporter to come straight here. I'm gonna grab this real quick. And there we go. All right. Now, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> and we're going back out. And we're gonna go uh, back over into the moss blanket. Which I'm gonna uh, make sure I grab these chickens real quick that I I dumped off over here that I can't find my chickpeas right here. Oh, and by the way, the you see that thing up there in the upper what right left left hand corner, the little uh, mail icon. That means that I have star mail. And star mail is a new thing that they developed where they actually gave the game a plot, and um. Which I'll have to admit is kind of interesting. I thought the game was perfect without a plot, but they gave it a plot, and it's kind of nice. It's it's a little sad though, so I'm not going to read it right now because it depresses me just a little bit. I mean, but it's it is an in depth story, and it definitely seems like the uh, creator of the game has some first hand experience in the subject. So uh, props to them for translating that so well into into words, which is um, I mean, definitely something I have experience with. Here, <clears throat> looking for more chickens, chickadees, any, anybody, anybody, nope, okay, here, we're gonna press that and get that open, so I get a whole bunch of stuff, and it's like, get out of my way, stupid thing, so here, I'm, uh, the, 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 I'm gonna put, I'm gonna get these out of the way first, you can't vacuum or siphon or anything when you have, when you're in build mode, really, and here in the moss blanket, you definitely want to build apiaries, uh, apothier, uh, apiaries, uh, you, you get stuff out of this. They're like beehives and stuff. I'm gonna pick this up over here and uh, over there and shoot, 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 shoot. Um, you know what? I think I uh, might just leave it there. And uh, I'm undecided. I don't wanna. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back into here, dump off all my stuff, and come back later and get this. You have to. You have to plant those things at the uh, at, at at those apiaries and poop and poop. There, if you want to get the uh, the the honey, the the, the you need the honey. All right. Well, that's enough for now. So I'm gonna see you guys later. Right. Bye bye.